a man who survived a miracle but lost his mind. Vermont, USA. 1848. This is the story of an ordinary but hard-working railway worker, Phineas Gage, who was living a cheerful life when suddenly an incident occurred that not only changed his life, but also revolutionized the world of science. It was the year 1848. Phineas was working on the railway line in the town of Cavendish, Vermont. His job was to pack gunpowder into a hole in the ground and prepare it for blasting. But that day, fate had something else in store. As he was tamping down the gunpowder with a long iron rod, suddenly a spark ignited and the gunpowder exploded. The blast was so intense that the iron rod, which was three feet long and weighed thirteen pounds, entered Phineas's face from the left side and exited through the top of his head. The rod tore through the front part of his brain, the frontal lobe. The scene was unbelievable. But even more astonishing was the fact that Phineas not only survived, but he was conscious. He was even talking. But the real test began then. Phineas Gage, who was once known among his friends as a hard-working, well-mannered and responsible person, changed completely after the accident. His temperament had deteriorated. He would get angry quickly. He became irritable, unbalanced and irresponsible. His close friends said he is no longer the same Gage. He tried to return to his old job, but his changing behavior and emotional instability kept him from living a normal life. The incident of Phineas Gage proved to be a revolutionary moment for scientists. For the first time, it made clear that the human brain's frontal lobe is deeply connected to personality, behavior, and decision-making abilities. After that horrific accident, Phineas lived for another 12 years, but the old Gage never returned. This story reminds us that mere survival is not always a success. Sometimes, the wounds that cut deeper than physical injuries are those that scar our minds and souls.